Alright, so now that we have all of these commands done, we are going to do the Q command and the clear command. So the clear command will clear the entire queue. It essentially just takes all of the songs out and stops uh, Gerald from playing. The Q command will list all of the songs out in the queue so that you can see what songs are up next and what is currently playing and all that stuff. So without further ado, let's get started and go into our musiccog.py. And we're going to go right above the join command and basically just copy our commands.command thing again. And we're going to say the name is Q. Our alias is just going to be Q. And again, we're leaving the help thing blank. And we're going to say async def, res I mean, sorry, async def Q. And then pass in self and CTX. And another alias that we'll do will be list. So that we're listing out all of the songs in the queue. So once we're done, we're gonna go into this function and say the ID equals uh, int ctx.guild.id. Again, this is just getting the server ID. Return value, boom, equals nothing so far. And this will basically just be the, the list of songs that we return. If self.musicq at ID, equals nothing then we are going to await ctx.send there are no songs in the queue and then after that we're going to return so basically what we're saying is if if the queue at the server id is completely empty then there aren't any songs in the queue so we can't list any out so we return so then we're going to say for i in range for self dot q index at id to the length of self dot music q at id and we're going to say up next songs equals the length of self dot music q at id minus self dot q index at id so what we're doing here is we're basically taking the first song and we're saying the first song is the one that's currently playing so if we have a full queue and we're it we're at song three in the queue we don't want to start from the very beginning song because we've already listened to it and it's behind us so what we want to do is we want to start our list from the currently from the song that's currently playing and then move on from there so that is what this number is doing it's taking whatever the first song is then we're going to say if i is greater than five plus up next songs then we are going to say self i mean sorry then we're going to say break uh so we're only wanting to print out the next five songs in the queue. We're not going to print out every single song because it might be a lot. We're going to say return index. Whoop, index. Return index equals i minus self.q index at id. And then we're going to say if return index, if return index equals zero, then we're going to return index equals playing. Um, we're going to say elif return index equals one. Then we're going to say return return index equals next and you'll see what this is for in a bit so then we're going to say return value plus equals and we're going to format the string and say return index and then a dash and 
we're going to do that link thing again with the brackets and parentheses. So we're going to say uh, in curly brackets, so we're going to say self dot music queue at ID at I and at zero. So three, three things and then title. So the title of the song. And then we're also going to say self dot whoops in curly brackets again self dot music queue at ID at I and at zero. And we're going to say we want the link to this song. And then after this, we're going to just do slash n to return to a new line. So this is basically just saying if the uh, return index, which is derived from if the song is either the current song or if it's coming up next, if it's zero, which means if I or the index of our for statement is um, the same thing as the Q index, then we are going to say that this, this song is currently playing. So we're going to add it as playing and then dash and then we take the title of the current song and then the link of the current song, which is that blue text, like it links to the, it links to the YouTube video. Otherwise, if it's one, then we're just going to return next. And we're gonna have next as this thing and still do the title and the link of the song. So then after this, we are also gonna say, still in the for loop, if, return value equals nothing. Oh, whoops, if it equals nothing, then we're going to await ctx.send. And we're going to say there are no songs in the queue. And then we're going to return. So once we're done with that, we're just going to go down here one more time and say that the queue equals discord dot embed. And we're going to have the title equal current Q, the description equals return value. And then after that, we're going to say the color with the U <laughs> equals self dot embed green. And remember, we set up that um, that self dot embed green and all of the embed colors in a separate video. And then once we're done with this embed, we're going to just await ctx.send embed equals Q. So boom, this should be our entire Q function. Um, and basically what this does is it returns the Q and then in the big text part of it, it's the return value, which had been adding all of the songs to it throughout the for loop. So we're going to save our music cog and we're going to play the main.py. Whoops, I was already testing from before. We're going to play it. And then if we open Discord real quick, we can see I'm already in a voice channel. I'm going to say play um, non-copyright sounds. And then I'm also going to do play hello world. And if I say Q, then yes, so for currently playing, it's this non-copyright sound. I'm gonna turn that down a bit. <laughs> and then for next, it is hello world. And if I, um, if I remove hello world, then I can do Q again, and it just says currently playing. Um, so now you can see your entire Q, or at least the next five songs in the Q. Um, so yeah, now, we are going to do the clear queue function for clearing all of the songs in the queue. And it's actually very similar to the leave function since we did the same thing in the leave function. So what we can say for the clear queue function, and we're just gonna take this and put it below our um, list queue function. Uh, we're gonna say name is clear we'll have the alias be CL. And again, we're leaving the help as nothing. And we're gonna say async, oh, async, def, clear. And we're passing in self and CTX, nothing fancy. 
And we're going to go down here and we're going to say ID. We're going to get the server ID. And next we're going to say if self.vc at ID uh, does not equal none and self. is playing at ID. So basically if the VC is, if it exists and if it's playing, then we're going to say self. is playing equals false and self dot is paused equals false um and actually we can just uh put this all in one line by saying uh by putting two equal signs so since both of them are becoming false we can just assign it like this then we're gonna say self dot vc at id dot stop and this will just basically say say assign the variables is playing and it's paused to false because it's not it's neither playing or paused and we're just going to stop the vc then we're going to say if self dot music queue at id does not equal uh empty or basically if it's yeah if it's not empty then we're going to await ctx dot send and we're going to say the music queue has been cleared and we're going to say self dot music queue at id equals just brackets and then once we're all the way down here we're going to say self dot queue index index uh equals zero because we're resetting the point in the queue in which we are so there we go that's our clear function so now if we save and we go to main.py oh i gotta restart it go to main.py then we can go in here and i'm gonna say uh play non copyright sounds oh i must be in a voice channel good test for our other functions <laughs> play non copyright sounds and that should pop up right there and then if I say Q, okay, so we see that it's playing. Um, we can also say clear and the music pl stop playing on Gerald. So that is pretty cool. So now we have a listing Q function and a clearing Q function.